Hey everybody, welcome back to Dredge. Uh, good news and unfortunate news. Buckle up. Okay, I still don't know what that little ding is. I don't know if that's just the start of day, because I feel... I feel like <laughs> that could happen, you know, at sunrise. Maybe that is happening at when the sun's fully up or something. But I don't know what the ding is. I don't know if it matters. Maybe it doesn't. Uh, we're going back to the... To the shrine, the crab shrine. I was going through the uh, comments, and unfortunately, this was spoiled uh, by somebody who was quite frustrated that I didn't figure this out. Um, I just want to, I just want to point out that this here to me looks like big crab and two little crabs, like this, right? Um, that was my thought process. Clearly, that isn't the case. Uh, that is not the way it's done. Uh, so what I've done is... I brought these two. And also, the orientation is not correct on here. Or, you know, it, maybe it is. But, ba-boom. The three crabs shudder, legs clicking into strange angles. The long dead... Some unseen power commands their corpses into action. The crabs scuttle over the altar, disappearing into cracks in the stone. Suddenly, the rock splits in two, revealing a sunken chamber at its core. Mouth of the Deep. A formidable cage with a vast, gaping maw. Sure to swallow up anything unlucky enough to stumble into it. It's a... basket. It's a crab net. Needs repair. Three per day, six by six. Hey, hello. Cool. Okay. Um, so yeah. Anyways, this game is so much about... Exploration and figuring things out. And I kind of I kind of get that one. Like, maybe I should have just tried it. Because I was going by the orientation of the... Uh, of the... Craps, you know? But anyways. We're back for another uh, chill fishing adventure with uh, no no run-ins with any of the surroundings. It's going to be incredibly smooth today. I almost just overloaded the engine talking about that. I feel like if I were you guys, this would be the perfect game to watch. Like, before bed. You know, every night you just start the playlist from the beginning. <laughs> and you just let her buck. Is that thing on me? Of course it is. I'm not afraid anymore. I'm not afraid anymore. Remember coming in, feeling like a lot of energy with this game, uh, first episode. That was really fun, and then I've kind of, I've kind of gotten into, like, a vibe, you know? It's, this is my, now I'm chilling, and I like that a lot. Okay, everything can be sold. We actually have so much money, it's ridiculous. Let's, uh, repair this for 65 big ones. Um, do I just buy this heat-resistant line now? Because I have the money? Oh, what are these? Tungsten. Hey. I'm not actually sure if I'm somehow missing when these are getting added. I guess I just need to check every once in a while. Uh, let's sell that. Looks like it doesn't have uninstall time if you just sell it, which is good. Okay. We got tungsten floods. Packed explosives can be bought here, too. Uh, that might not be a bad idea, but I don't think there's anything that I'm being blocked from currently. I will just put this into storage so I have it. And then I think we're, uh, we're good to go. It's still nighttime. Um, what I'll do is do a quick... emptying of the pots, because we're going to move to a new island here. I got a trophy in this one.
Maybe I won't even sleep tonight. Maybe. How many crab pots is too many? Is there such a thing? <laughs> uh, I have had a f I have noticed a couple people be like, dude, like you're spending too much time with the crab pots. The crabs need love too, you guys. Okay, the crabs need love. If you're not down with the crabs, what are you what are you really down with? You know, if you can't get behind a good crabbing, what's wrong with your life? Rethink your priorities. Get your crabbing in order. Okay. This is actually going to work out pretty well, I think. That just disappeared. I don't like that. I don't like the unknown. Okay, troll nets fraying, crabs cutting themselves into your crab pox, why don't we repair them? Yeah. So, I'm- I'm thinking... Oh yeah, we can just put these in storage. And then I- and then I don't need to carry them with me. Genius. Absolutely genius. Um... I've got the oceanic here, so that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna head towards the Stellar Basin. We've recently had uh, new engines, we have new lights, we had like our main um, boat upgrade. Tiger mackerel. I'm really just looking for oceanic stuff. I think there's a really good argument to be made to, for just um, trawling this uh, type of section. Oh, nice. That's actually excellent. But then I wouldn't be able to catch unknown fish. So, maybe if you're going back through an area where you've already discovered everything. Red snapper. Okay. Very common oceanic fish. Blood snapper. <laughs> All right. Blood leaks endlessly from under its scales, pooling beneath it no matter where it's placed. Excellent. So we've already reached the Stellar Basin area, I guess. Because that seems to be native to here. That's Abyssal. Red snaps. Am I at the right place? Mm, not exactly. It needs to be over there. Abyssal. I can't wait to catch Abyssal stuff. Abyssal. Snapper. Oh. That's a new fish. Ooh. That looks like a freaking hammerhead. It's a hammerhead! <laughs> of course it is. That's incredible. Uh, I don't think I'm going to fit another one. We'll take that. A barracuda. Okay, I'm not going to have space for any more. Is that a dog barking? Actually, I can, I can get like one piece of wood here. Mm. 
Now, I'm a little concerned. Uh, okay, I see the docking points. Is that a... Can I catch that? Oh, please don't destroy my boat, dude. Oh, it hurts me! Into my... Oh, boy. I think... I've infected something. I think that was... I think that caused that. My B. I better get rid of that. Traveling merchant. Completely turned to rot. I can't pay you anything for it. Yeah, cool. That's fair and understandable and all that. Okay, so that makes the cost of the... Or the, the price of these way lower. But we've got a blood snapper to make up for it. 186 for the hammerhead. Barracuda's worth quite a bit as well. Awesome. So, fish market. This is a starlight pontoon. We have our storage here. I'll take some of the pots. And let's see what we have going on here. This is good. So we have three additional rod spaces. I need uh, two more wood here, and then I have engine spots. This is excellent. Okay, so, hydraulic rod's the same, flexible fishing pole's the same, heat resistant line, uh, we bought, and the weighted line is for shallow, um, but we have that covered. So, there's nothing I can't fish right now, it seems. Same stuff there. So yeah, we're, we're cool. There's so many like what's what what's the blue stuff all about? Like what, what like what is that? That's the mouth of the deep that we just got. Okay, so that's all of them. Ding, ding. Beautiful. I'm actually just going to sell these because I'm so close. Barracuda and Hammerhead. Okay. Forty-eight. 39s. Forty-three in there. Founders? Coral groupers. It was a good guess. My fish knowledge being quite limited. Whoops. The old double tap got me.
Okay, let's check these spots here. Snapper, Abyssal, Hammerhead, Barracuda, Abyssal, Abyssal. Alright. Let's see if we can't get the rest of this wood that was over here. A little late in the day, but hopefully not too much of an issue here. Wait, where was it? Wasn't it right over here? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. And there's a there's a dog here. Oh, I see something shining. Oh, we're really late at night. That's concerning. But, if anything, uh, we're going to figure out if there's a new beast here. Hey, research parts. Nice. Double. Give me one more wood. Check this. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Skinny brown dog leaping around in the shallows. Occasionally it lunges at the water, snapping at some small silvery fish. Its technique is ineffective. Continue sailing or disembark. You jump off the boat into thigh high water. The dog stops chasing fish and focuses on you. Let's throw some fish at the dog. Throw some scraps from the water near the dog. It pounces at the splash and swallows seawater. Okay. Let's call. Wags its tail briefly, but doesn't move. Let's approach slowly. Wade towards the shore. As you get near, the dog backs up a little ways. It sits. That seems fine. Let's throw fish now. Land in the sand. The dog eats them along with a mouthful of sand. Okay, but he's happy. That's This is the right way to do it. Soft, encouraging noises. The dog cautiously approaches. It stops just out of your reach. Let's hold out fish in our hand. If he takes it, good sign. Dog approaches slowly, but soon begins licking at them. We can pat the dog. Reach out and gently pat the dog. Its eyes follow your hand. It seems to understand you're not a threat. Pat the dog again. The seems to be enjoying it. <laughs> pat the dog again. Seems to be enjoying it. Pat the dog again. Keep patting the dog. Keep patting the dog. Keep patting the dog. Keep patting the dog. Make your way back towards the boat. As you're waiting out, you hear the sloshing of four legs cutting through the water. You stop and turn around. He's standing a few paces behind you. It tills its head questioningly. Oh, hell yeah. Are we getting a pet? You continue, this time with the dog alongside. His tail's wagging so hard it beats the water into a froth. You get to the boat. You turn around to pull the dog on board. It's a stray dog, curled up asleep, opening an eye occasionally to watch you move around the boat. You lift the dog into the deck. Walks around briefly before curling into a ball and looking up at you. Maybe you could find this dog a more permanent home. Um, yeah. We did. It's with us. Ooh. Squid? Firefly squid. Radiant squids. I'm just gonna fish till the sun comes up, I think. So much abyssal. Okay, well, there doesn't seem to be an immediate threat. Pile of loose debris, it could be cleared to make a shortcut. I don't have explosives, but we could buy some. Okay.
Let's just see if we've caught this. Yeah. Okay, well, that is very exciting that we got the dog. I don't... Something slithered into my cargo hold. Oh, damn. I didn't even see what that could have been. What is this? Oh, this is more, uh, okay. So if we need that stuff, that's cool. There's also those things. What are these? Oh, okay. I think that's research parts? Okay, let's do a drop off here. Find the dog a home. Mm hmm We haven't caught a single rare fish. Radiant squid. I'm kind of, like, just... I'm sure that stuff will happen if we fish enough at different times of day, different locations, but... Okay. Now, we go to the dock. Wood here. Modifies one cargo space to also hold engines. That's going to add a spot above. Now for the hull. Upgrade your vessel to tier 3 and adds 9 new cargo spaces. And it can sustain an additional impact. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, so I need three of the cloth, two lumber, one scrap. Okay. Research-wise, I think we go into the anti-tangle and then into... Oh, yeah, hold on. Volcanic and shallow. So, okay. Yeah, I mean, maybe we'll need this before getting here. This one looks cool. I need both to get to this. The big whammy. Three per day, five by four. Three per day, or sorry, two per day, five by four. This catches coastal, this catches mangrove and shallow. Hmm. I'm gonna go into versatile rod. We get to this, we're like literally laughing. Oh, frick. This one's just on its own, I just realized. I just realized this isn't connected. <laughs> okay, well next one, we know what we're doing. Okay, so we're gonna... Maybe I won't buy the anti-tangle. Like, maybe that was a bit of a mistake, buying this other one. So we'll see if it's necessary. Let's go clean up the rest of these parts here. Is this my, um... My spot? Yeah. Okay, the spot's actually right in the middle. Look at how deep this is here. Yeah, that's... That's a little... Sketch. Do it. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> we need two bolts, right? So this could be awesome. And then we need wood.
Be cool if randomly you just pull up a full ship. <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool if you just caught a spaceship? These are probably new. Octopus! So cool. Uh, okay, hold on. dog bark when I picked him up, that's cool. Okay, so octopus must be nighttime. Yeah. That makes sense. Take all of that. Oh, I actually needed three bolts. My bad. Three bolts, one scrap, two lumber. Uh, let's throw this to storage. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay, so I can't unlock this. Interesting. It's not connected to anything, but I cannot use a research part on it. So, who knows? Hmm. She only has one, I just realized. I thought she might have, like, unlimited amounts there, but... I feel like I'm really good at this path right now. Stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. Place your hands on the stone. It doesn't respond to your touch. Well, isn't that great? this metal? Sure is. Okay. It's a good investment. Now, let's um let's look at getting into that middle section here. Ooh, what's that? Oh, yeah, let's go. That's the name of the game, literally. Should also hit the ports and see if there's people that need things. No doubt they will. Is anybody here? Research outpost. Laboratories in ruins with equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Where do you want to look? Open the cupboards, obviously. Check the cupboards for a research part. Okay. You empty the covers. Where do you want to look now? Equipment on the table? Some strange prototype parts on the table. You can't see any use for them right now. On the other side of the table, you find a hastily scrawled note. It reads, not safe. Expect retaliation imminently. Evacuating to fort. Where do you want to look? On the floor. There's cracks in the base of the structure that grow to large gashes as you follow them along the walls. Something extremely large and powerful created these holes. You slowly reach your arm into one. Okay. Pluck an item from a gouge in the floor. Where do you want to look? I want to leave. 
There's a generator here sputtering and ticks over. All right. Okay, so let's take a look here. We now have a versatile rod. It's 82%, which is like the best of the best. And it can catch coastal, shallow, mangrove, volcanic. The only thing it can't do is oceanic. Right? And then we have access, eventually, to harvesting platform. 132% fishing speed. Coastal, shallow, and oceanic. So, there's some overlap here, but maybe it replaces the, yeah, it replaces the hydraulic rod plus some. So, that's cool. Um, I'm going to focus on a couple of other things, too, though. Maybe engine stuff. Get into this. Okay. Oh, I was very confused for a second there. Barracuda, Abyssal. Oh, there's a message here. And there's a wreck. I might want to check that too. September 14th, 1927. So this is a few weeks after the last one we have. I've not ridden in a few days, so we're probably missing some. I've been afflicted with some strange chill which conspires to fog my brain. I cannot seem to keep warm no matter what I do. While most of what they hauled up was junk, they eventually came up with a large wooden casket. A hush came over the crew at such a tantalizing discovery. I remember the next moment with excruciating clarity. He pried it open easily. The buckling boards cracked and groaned with relief as they splintered apart. Crimson cloth spilled out onto the deck. The crashing waves rose to fill my ears. I still hear them. He stared down into the open casket, then turned to me. In his eyes, I saw the void. The page has been torn off. Whoa. This is one thing that's interesting, is you never upgrade the dredger. Probably get three out of this. Oh, maybe maybe two. I knew it would be three guys. I'm a genius. Jellyfish better stay the F away from me. I am not interested. I'm just gonna chill here for the night. I just hit. Whoa, what? Oh, I'm burning myself like an idiot. Oh my god, what a nightmare. What is happening? This is the worst possible thing that could go down. No! Oh my god, I was so excited just to get home. It could be worse. <laughs> it could be worse. Okay, well, we found tentacles in here, which is great. Um, and there's stuff there that we obviously want, but it's like, how do we, how do we get that safely without getting tentacled, you know? We might need to figure something out. I wonder if the dog can go into storage. Hmm. 
Yes, yes it can. <laughs> okay, I need to start using that a lot more efficiently than I currently am. Storage, storage, and storage. Now I just really need two wood. Okay. Let's go to that other spot. Actually, let's go around this way. See what we find. Could be wood. It is. Waves lap at a pile of flotsam collecting on the beach, nestled in the center of a wooden chest. Look inside. Oh, what the? Large scrap of paper with some shapes drawn on it. In one corner is a compass symbol. Okay. Earrings. Doubloons. And paper. Can I do anything with this? Looks like I probably have to combine it, but this little compass symbol, if we look at our map... We don't have a map. Okay. But I assume this would be north, and this will tell us something. It'll tell us something one day. Oh, this is the fort. Okay, so this is probably where the guy from the other island came to, right? That would make sense. Now let's go around the back. Is that a freaking whale? Yes, it is. Look at that. Oh my god. That's like a, looks like a manta ray or something, but that there. Oh, maybe it's uh, the, uh, that lamp head thing. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> thing with the bulb on the tentacle. Um, hello. I wasn't expecting visitors. Who are you? I'm a fisherman. Ah, uh, yes, I thought you had the look, but a fisherman all the way out here. Strange. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you all the same. I've not seen any soul in months. In fact, I could do with your help if you had the time. What do you need? I need help collecting samples to study. I was originally posted at the research outpost, but it was attacked. A large creature emerged from the depths and destroyed the outpost. Now it rests in the center of the basin. Yeah, we noticed. I fled here, and I've been making do as best I can, but I had to leave most of my equipment behind, so now my research has come to a halt. Take a look at the list of specimens I need. Please drop them off here. Oh, you might need to experiment with different fishing strategies to collect all of them. So we know these two. Glowing octopus. Okay. And an oh, Aurora jellyfish. Okay, so it actually does tell us. Um, hold on a second. So we're at Stellar Basin. Right? Glowing octopus, so we know that's at night. This is mangrove, that's fine. Um, now we're back in the marrows. Where, where do we get the firefly squid? Wasn't that here too? Oh yeah, probably the first one I looked at. Okay. So, also nighttime. And that Aurora jellyfish, probably also nighttime. Okay. About the specimens. Okay, fine. Tell me about yourself. 
I don't think there's much to say. I studied biological sciences at Iron Haven College. It was a struggle. There were no other female students in the department that year, or the year before, or the year before that. Hard not to feel like an outsider in an environment like that, you know? You probably don't. When I graduated, I managed to land a job at the Northern Biological Research Society, and then, well, I was posted here by myself. I thought I'd relish the peace and quiet, but I miss having company. I've always had someone, or at least a pet. Oh, out here it's just machines. I got you. Is there anything else? Yeah. What sort of creature attacked you? I got the sense it was attacking the research outpost rather than me specifically. I suspect it was disturbed by some of my monitoring equipment. There were dozens of machines running there, all powered by a noisy generator. It was huge, larger than any other marine species I've studied. It attacked with tentacles. So I'd guess at some sort of octopus or squid or anemone. One of my research vessels was moored around the back of the station, so I managed to slip away in that while it was tearing away at the front. There's a lot of valuable data and equipment left there, but I'm not going back. I won't face it again. Is there anything else? Have you noticed anything unusual here? Now that you mentioned I've been so preoccupied with the attack and having to rebuild here, I'd almost forgotten. I found these letters from my sister. She sent them to me while I was studying before she... She's quiet for a moment and stares off to the side. Anyway, I keep finding them among my papers. I don't remember packing them, but I must have. I started finding them more frequently. They turned up in my collection nets, in my sampling tubes. There were letters I'd never seen before, but they were in her writing. They were in her name. They were saying things, talking about things that happened after she died. I can't explain it. Huh, okay. Okay. Let's take the doggy here. Store all of these. Store this. We're actually running out of <laughs> storage locker space, if you can believe it. What do you need? Uh, this dog needs a home. You want it? Oh gosh, let me see! The dog bounds over to the researcher. She crouches down to pet the dog, grinning. The dog licks her chin in response. Immediately in love. Could definitely take this off your hands, and I'd love the company. Are you sure? Yeah, you should take it. Thank you. We're gonna be such good friends. He could be my assistant. Suddenly, the dog stands upright and begins to retch, stomach heaving. Seconds later, it vomits a wet glob onto the floor. Something glistens through the mucus. That's interesting. I suppose that's yours if you want it. <laughs> Sapphire ring. Yeah, sure. Thanks. I can clean the rest up. Don't worry about it. What's the special thing that we're looking for here? Oh, that's probably it. Okay. Um, does it have a different color, though? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's not, but... Um, okay, so we undock here. There's another bottle here. Let's grab that. And I think we're gonna want to rest there for the night. March 7th. Okay, that's really far. Oh, wait. No, it isn't. Uh, I just realized these aren't sorted in order. Okay, they get sorted in order. So this is early. We're engaged to be married. He sailed us out to the very center of Stellar Basin to see the lights. We talked for hours. Something we have not done in such a long time, waiting and hoping. Sometime past midnight, as we were growing delirious and hysterical from the lack of sleep, the aurora shimmered into the skies above. When I turned to see his reaction, he was already down on one knee. I can't even remember what he said or what I said, but I know that I said yes. The ring is beautiful, with a span of jewels going right the way around. I cannot take my eyes off it. I wasn't sure whether to write this under yesterday's date or today's, given that it occurred in the junction of days, but I feel the news is significant enough to warrant spanning multiple entries. I haven't pieced it together yet, but I wonder if the spots that these letters are taking place in, like, talking about this accident and stuff, could be related to the creatures that are there, and, like, maybe he or this this person that was writing the letters. Oh, what's this? The dredging spots out there. Okay. So many things. Um, I don't know, maybe that's related to locations or something. It's kind of interesting, but we'll keep keep trying to track that. Uh, let's take a break here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. When we come back, uh, we are going to go dredge that stuff. Then we need to try to catch those specimens for her. And that's likely just going to involve nighttime. And then we're going to uh, keep on trucking. Thank you, guys. See you soon.